This is Michael Popak with a legal AF hot take. The gag order against Donald Trump, he interpreted it as meaning that he could go after the soft underbelly of prosecutors, judges, jurors, staff, and others. Their family members, you know, the civilians that didn't sign up for this. To Donald Trump, that's core political speech, campaign speech. He should be allowed to go after Judge uh, Mershon's daughter by name because she happens to uh, ply her trade as a uh, working for a political PR firm that represents democratic causes. What does that have to do with the presiding judge, the criminal justice system, or Donald Trump's indictment for the Stormy Daniels business record fraud hush money case? Nothing. It's just as the um, Manhattan District Attorney has um, outlined and clarified in a letter brief that was filed on Thursday, accepted by the judge on Friday, asking to find that Donald Trump is already in contempt of that gag order that the judge entered just on Tuesday. The judge saying, don't go after witnesses, don't go after court personnel, don't go after potential jurors, don't go after um, anybody that's a part of the criminal justice system that, uh, with your intent to try to undermine it. Uh, Donald Trump read that carefully and determined that he was allowed to go after family members. And now, as we've reported earlier, the we got two filings back to back. We've got the Manhattan DA through Josh Steinglass, who's one of the prosecutors for the Manhattan DA who'll try the case. He argued in his letter brief that the judge needs to immediately clarify and uh, immediately make clear to the defendant and those around him that going after family members is just as bad as going after the principals themselves, and that attacking them will send a shudder of fear down the back and spine of um, potential jurors and witnesses, because they'll, they'll think, are our family members next? And that will improperly influence their thought price process, their psyche, their emotional stability, their ability to serve as full and fair jurors um, in this system. And so the response by, by uh, Donald Trump is in. And to his response is, uh, our client's allowed to attack family members. I mean, there's no other way to put it. In the March 29th letter filed by um, a Todd Blanche's firm, along with Susan Necklace, the two main lawyers for Donald Trump in the case, they basically say, no, nope, we read the, uh, the judge's order cover to cover, and uh, we know our client uh, reached out and attacked the judge immediately in social media, attacked his, uh, the judge's daughter by name in social media, Sure. Um, didn't mention the fact, by the way, just as a side note, that uh, uh, Donald Trump uh, falsely accused the judge's daughter of having and maintaining a social media account that attacks Donald Trump and shows a, a, a picture of him in, um, in a prison garb. That was not her social media account. Donald Trump knew or should have known that, but didn't care because he was trying to make a broader point that he could attack a judge and the judge's um, family member. And as I said on a prior hot take, it wasn't by accident. Donald Trump, you know, read through the gag order, and I'm sure there was a huddle with his lawyers, and it went something like this. Okay, what can I do? They said, well, you can't attack the um, the DA. You can you can attack the DA by name. You can, t you can attack the judge by name. You can't go after witnesses and potential jurors or statements that would appear to be undermining of the system. Oh, can I go after family members? I mean, think about this. That was his first reaction. Because they said, yes, there's no bar on that. In fact, they repeat that in the letter. Here's the letter. Second paragraph, written by Todd Blanche. The express terms of the gag order do not apply in the manner claimed by the people. In other words, we can attack family members. We're okay with attacking family members. It's core political campaign speech, Your Honor. I don't know why you don't see that. Right, Going after the daughter of a judge is core political campaign speech. Are you are you out of your mind? Um, they must be. Uh and, they, uh, and then they go on to say that um, the request by the people, the prosecutor, to find Donald Trump in contempt, call his conduct contumacious, which is a word, another word for being found in contempt, about the social media posts um, would be inappropriate and violative of constitutional principles of prior restraint. Now here comes the word salad. Right here comes the words out. Prior restraint, First Amendment, core political speech. They are they're they are they're all repeated talismanically, magic language wise, as if they have any content or meaning or context here in this particular application. When they don't, we're not talking about core political First Amendment speech. We're talking about the protection of the administration of justice in the court system.
and what is right and what is wrong and what is beyond the pale. And going after the soft underbelly of the system by attacking family members is beyond the pale. Now we're going to have to wait to see what Judge Mershon does. The lawyers have said, we only had time to to generate a page and a half of opposition. We're in trial prep, Your Honor. And if you want to really expand your gag order, we want to attack it with full briefing. Um, I'm not sure the judge gives them full briefing on this at all, by the way. Uh, he's a very uh, sober judge. He's a very, um, he has a lot of gravitas in his approach. I'm not sure he feels the need to see more briefing on the issue. Prior restraint, first of all, is a constitutional doctrine that applies to the government when the government tries to do something, not a judge administrating justice. So I don't see prior restraint as an app, as a, as a constitutional doctrine being applicable here at all. First Amendment core political speech to go after family members because she happens to work for a PR firm who has clients that are, uh, not even Joe Biden, by the way, who are Democratic, um, on the Democratic side of the aisle. What does that have to do with anything? She's not representing Joe Biden. And even if she was, she'd be doing it as a professional, as a professional PR person, not you know in any other kind of personal capacity. And she has no no role or involvement here. Just because a um, a judge has a child or a spouse doesn't mean they're responsible for the child or spouse's conduct. You know, we're we're no longer in the 17th century when women were chattel owned by their husbands, or children were chattel and had no rights. And this is an adult child who has a job. Um, a job that Donald Trump wants to just use to bash. And the Manhattan DA makes a very good point because it this, uh, this attack, people who are in the protected group or class of the gag order that was issued will fear for their own family members. Who wouldn't, right? You, I didn't sign up for this. I'm a mature. My wife get attacked. My, my, my relatives get attacked. My grandparents get attacked. Prosecutors, the same thing potential witnesses, the same thing. I don't want to go on the stand. If I'm a witness, I've got to worry about my wife or, or father or mother or, fa you know, or grandmother being attacked by an insane, deranged, rogue ex-president who's a criminal defendant. They're making a good point. Now, they're trying to do it through arguing that the judge needs to clarify his order, expand his order. It's almost like a motion to reconsider. I do agree with the Trump's lawyers there, but they don't need to do it through a formal motion practice. They can do it through the letter. Your dog, like my Lily, is a member of the family, so serve them the top quality food they deserve. Serve them Nom Nom. All dogs are individuals, and they deserve to be served like it. Nom Nom delivers freshly made dog food personalized to your dog's preferences and unique caloric needs. Nom Nom is made with 100% premium ingredients. That means 0% freaky fillers or funky stuff. Dogs love great tasting meals just like us, yet their nutritional needs are different than ours. That's why Nom Nom's nutrient pack recipes are developed by board certified veterinary nutritionists, freshly made and shipped free to your door. Nom Nom has already delivered over 40 million meals. That's because the best dogs, yours, deserve the best food, theirs. As listeners know, my dog Lily is truly part of our family, and I don't know what I'd do without her. That's why I'm committed to only giving her the best. Board-certified vet nutritionists develop each of Nom Nom's recipes to provide dogs with the proper balance of vital nutrients required to thrive. Oh yeah, and they're floor-licking delicious too. Gnome face assured or your money back guaranteed, meaning if your dog isn't deliriously excited about dinner, then it's a money back guarantee. Say bye to your boring dog food. Your dog deserves a reason to run to their bowl for every single meal, every single day. Go right now for 50% off your no-risk two-week trial at trynome.com slash legal AF, spelled trynome.com slash legal AF for 50% off. Trynome.com slash legal AF. Look, I don't think it was an accident that the judge left out family members. I think he wanted to be as narrow um, and as uh, defensible of a gag order creation as he could come up with. You know, he's got precedent. Uh, the the judges of uh, like the federal judges have already issued gag orders against Donald Trump that have been upheld in the federal appellate system. We're in the state system here with this particular case, but he had guidance. 
you know, he had a very well-written Judge Chutkin in the D.C. election interference gag order uh, matter, and that was upheld by a three-judge panel of the appellate division uh, of the uh, Court of Appeals for the DC, for D.C. So the judge had a template. So I don't think he forgot to include family members, but I guess he thought, well, let's see what Donald Trump does next, because I can always expand my gag order. He's told him in the past that he, I mean, he gagged Donald Trump after his arraignment. And they argued about it there, and it was rejected there, and the, and and appeals to uh, you know attempts to take appellate review was was uh, rejected early on. So this is not the first time a, a Donald Trump has taken the position that it's okay for him to bash lawyers. And look at these lawyers having to defend Donald Trump's disgusting, underhanded, um, immoral attack on family members of judges. And you know, as I said, the prosecutors make a very good point. You're next. Jurors, family, potential jurors, family, witnesses, family, uh, prosecutors, family. Donald Trump's coming after you next. As I said in a prior hot take, Donald Trump even goes beyond like what the what the mafia would do. They don't even go after civilians. They don't they don't go after family members. Donald Trump is beyond. As I said, he'll put a horse's head in somebody's bed if he thinks it'll help his case. And then he's left, you know, then you're left with these lawyers rallying around about calling the attack on the daughter protected campaign speech and lying, by the way, in a way that the judge will know right away in this in this March 29th letter from Todd Blanche by saying where the family member, which is the daughter, referenced um, is actively supporting adversarial campaign speech by President Trump's political opponents. That's a that's a bunch of gobbledygook. That's a bunch of um, word salad, because she's not representing Joe Biden. Um, there are Senate candidates and other Democrats that are on the roster of clients for the firm that she works for, but she's not directly working on them. And there's no evidence here and no affidavit submitted and no sworn testimony that she is because she's not. And so they're trying to get away with it with a one liner. Um, and, and these lawyers, you know, uh, Todd Blanche, I don't really know. Susan Necklace, you should be embarrassed to have filed this, to defend their client's right to attack members of family of the judge. I assure you, in the history of Susan Necklace, who's the lawyer here, not to call her out by name, but I will, in in her history, in her 30 plus years of being a lawyer like I have in New York, I assure you she's never had a client that she's defended for attacking a family member of a judge, and neither has Todd Blanche. And that's the dirty little secret they don't want to tell the judge. I'd like to see the judge call them up, call them out, bring them into his courtroom and ask him that. Hey, Susan Necklace, Todd Blanche, you've been practicing law collectively for 65 years, including in New York. How many times have you ever defended a client in their attacks on a family member, a daughter of a judge? How many times have you done that? Go ahead. I got I got all day. The answer will be none, Your Honor. And they'll say, well, you know, it's ex-president. Um, he's got he's campaigning he's he's the leading candidate for office or whatever they're going to say i don't know what that has to do with anything and the and the rights of his daughter if i were his daughter as i said before she should file a defamation case against donald trump right he's good at losing those c e jean carroll twice that's what i would do to shut it down um and I'm sure they're considering it. It's, it's a, it puts the judge in an awkward position because his his uh, daughter has has rights that shouldn't be um, that shouldn't be uh, compromised just because her father's on the bench. You know, these are all independent people, and so that's what we've got so far. Uh, we've got the um, uh, we've got the um, uh, letter to the judge. Also, I thought there was an. I'm just looking at this carefully. There's like an unnecessary pot shot at the judge. The judge, Judge Juan Marchand, has been on the on the Supreme Court criminal term for a long time. He's technically the acting justice, having come up from another court, the Court of Claims, and he was appointed there. So when I write a letter to Judge Marchand, it would be Honorable Judge Juan Marchand, um, Justice, Supreme Court, criminal term, 100 Center Street, New York, New York. They wrote... Judge Court of Claims, Acting Justice, Supreme Court. To the average person, they'll be like, oh, he's the acting justice. That must mean he's less than a real justice. That's untrue. But it's just another dehumanizing, demeaning um, way uh, on Todd Blanche's letterhead to attack this judge. 
So here's what I think is going to happen. The judge now has Josh Steinglass's letter on behalf of the Manhattan DA. He has Todd Blanche's letter and Susan Necklace's letter on behalf of their, their client, Donald Trump. And I, I think he's going to reject further briefing. And he's going to clarify his order to that, that family members, I don't know about if the judge, but family members of prosecutors and of jurors and prospective jurors and of witnesses um, need to be protected as well. I don't think he finds Donald Trump in contempt right now, but he's going to give him a last warning and clarification on this issue. We'll continue to follow it on Legal AF and on the Midas Touch Network right here. Um, help them get to 3 million free subscribers and follow us on Legal AF. Yep, it means exactly what you think. It's every Wednesday and Saturday, a podcast where we curate the top five stories at the intersection of law and politics, and we bring you the stories here. And if you want to support Legal AF, if you know all about it and hot takes like this one, then go on our Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash Legal AF, where we have exclusive content tutorials, teachable moments. It's like if a TED Talk and a law school had a baby. Um, and you'll only find this exclusive content right here on the Legal AF Patreon, patreon.com slash Legal AF. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. It's Ken Harbaugh with the Midas Touch Network. The film Against All Enemies, which I co-produced with Ben Micellis and this network, has won awards around the world for its up-close portrayal of America's insurrectionist movement. It premieres in the U.S. on March 29th on Amazon and Apple TV. Go to AgainstAllEnemiesFilm.com or click the link below. But don't just watch Against All Enemies. Tell your friends about it. It's one more way to hold accountable those who threaten our democracy. Thanks, Midas Mighty. Let's use our power well.